Hello and welcome back to the Rush 2 New Features course. During section 2, we applied the core concepts of Rush 2 in the command line. Now, let's begin with section 3, working with the client library. In this section, we are going to create our own nodes using the Rust 2 client libraries in Python and C++. The first video of the section will refer to creating a publisher in Python. But before looking into that, let's see and understand what the client library is. Client libraries are the APIs that allow users to implement their Rust code. They are what users use to get access to Rust concepts, such as nodes, topics, services, etc. Client libraries come in a variety of programming languages so that users may write Rust code in the language that is best suited for their application. For example, you may prefer to write visualization tools in Python because it makes prototyping iterations faster. While for parts of your system that are concerned with efficiency, the nodes may be better implemented in C++. Creating a Python publisher can be divided into five steps, and the first one is the creation of a ROS2 package in Python. Let's first execute this command. So first, we have to go to the source directory of our workspace. Now, execute the command. ROS2 package, create, and the name. Here, we can see that we have a folder with some files and directories created. Then, we have to create the source code and also don't forget to set up the execution permissions. In my case, I will do it by hand the creation of the file. Then, we can see the file here. The basic structure of our Python publisher will be the main that calls these the main functions and the import of rclpy, the Python API of ROS2. So now let's create a node. First importing the node API and then here we have to do two things. First initializing the rclpy and then creating the publisher, calling a publisher class node. And here you will spin rclpy, passing as an argument your node, and in the finally, you will destroy it. But one thing here is that we didn't declare the publisher class node first. We have to do it. For that, let's declare a class that inherits from this node and the constructor, this one, we'll call this method. And we are assigning the name of the node here. Now, let's do three things. First, we are going to create a variable and we will assign this a value of zero. And then this publisher will publish string messages into the topic chatter. And also we are going to create a timer and this will be called every one second and it will execute the timer callback. So first we have to do two things. Declare the string import here at the beginning and also define the timer callback. So first the string import and then the timer callback. And here we are going to publish a string message into this publisher. And for that, we are going to call this object, the same that, that we defined here, and we have this object here with the field data and we are filling a string with the content of the variable that we defined previously. After recording this information, we are going to increment this value and publish it into pub, this variable here. What we are doing here is a login with ROS2. We are logging in the info verbosity, the information. So now it's turn to edit the package XML file. For that, we have to edit some things here. First, 
we have to delete this build tool depend tag and also modify this export build type to Amen Python. Something very important too is to add the dependencies that we are using in the publisher. These are rclpy and std messages. Before continuing, it's mandatory to have in the source directory another file, an empty file, called init.py because this is a Python package. And another thing, the structure that the command created is a C++ package, so we don't need the include. And also we don't need the source at all. In fact, a better approach is to, instead of creating the source directory, we have to rename it as the same name of the package. Now, also, since this is a Python package, we have to replace the semiclist.txt with two files, setup.py and setup.cfg. So first, let's delete this file. And now let's include in the same level of package.xml setup.cfg. And we are going to paste something like this. The script directory, the base directory, will be installed in this path. And the install script will be installed in this path. Now let's create setup.py. The setup.py file has the following structure. A setup called that we are defining here and some attributes. The important ones are, well, first the package name and the Python modules. The Python module in this case is this one. So let's call publisher and let's declare a variable here. Our Python module will be declared here. Let's maintain the coding style. And here we are going to select the folder, this folder, and a name of the executable. Also, we have to edit something here, the entry point. And here we have to write something with the following format. Tucker equals to the value of this variable, double dot, main. So this is publisher and publisher is this one. So in order to maintain compatibility, we are going to rename the name of this file, the one that we created before. And we are going to call it with this name. Check that we are not adding the .py here. And now it's turn to test our code. For that, let's first build with Colcom build, then source our workspace, and then run the example. So in our workspace, we are going to execute this command. And we can see that it finished. So sourcing this and we should detect so now let's run the example and the executable will appear with the name Tucker and Tucker was the name that we declare here in the entry point so now we can see the node publishing information and the topic charter appears.